K-12 Basic Education Curriculum, Technology and Livelihood Education, Learner's Packet, LEAP, Carpentry, Exploratory Course for Grade 7 and 8. Hello everyone, I am your TLE teacher, Sir Lance. Welcome to our new learning competency in Carpentry. In this video lesson, we will learn about requisition procedure and its definition, sample and accomplishing a requisition slip. But before we proceed to the next part of this new lesson, you need to unlock this stage first by arranging correctly the jumbled letters. Your 5 seconds starts now. Time's up. The correct answer is Requisition form. Great job everyone! Learning outcome number two. Request appropriate materials and tools. Fill out forms in requesting for carpentry tools and materials as required for a task. What is a requisition slip? A requisition slip is a documented form used for procurement of necessary goods for a specific project. It comes into different formats depending on the standard existing in a form. This is a sample requisition form. Requisition Procedure One of the most important things in working with a project are the availability of tools and materials. It is inevitable that some or all the tools and materials needed are not available at hand. If this happens, one should request these tools and materials to support the project. Requesting is not merely done verbally but follows standard operating procedure by accomplishing a requisition slip or form. The following are the suggested step-by-step -step procedure in requesting needed materials and tools. First. Discuss and identify the tools or materials needed within a group or department. Second, canvas for the unit cost of identified tools and materials. Third, accomplish a requisition slip. Fourth, submit slip to an authorized person and seek for approval. Five, submit purchasing order slip to the purchasing officer once approved. 6. Wait for the required date agreed to acquire the needed tools or materials. The following are the procedure in filing out requisition form. 1. State the name of the project on the project section. 2. Indicate the date when you request the tools or materials and the date they need to be acquired on the date requested and date required section respectively. 3. Suggest stores where requested items can be purchased. Write it on the suggested vendor section. 4. These items to be requested and specify description of each item on materials and description section. 5. Indicate the quantity of each item in the quantity section and specify the appropriate unit of measurement in the unit section. 6. Indicate the cost per unit of each item on the unit cost section. Cost should be based on the canvas prices on the suggested vendors. 7. Calculate the total cost per item by multiplying unit cost to quantity. Indicate it on the total section. 8. Get the total cost of all requested items and write it on the total cost section. 
9, write the name of the requisitioner and affix signature on the proposed by section. Also, indicate the department where the requisitioner belongs on the department section. 10. Write the name of an approving authority and seek for his her approval on the approved by section and indicate the date of approval on date approved section. And last, purchasing officer will write his her name and affix his her signature on the purchasing officer section. Indicate the date on date received section upon receiving the slip. This is a sample requisition form. It's time to test your knowledge. It's quiz time! Direction Look at the word pool below. Match the parts of the requisition form with its corresponding example. Write the letter of your answer on your answer sheet. A. ABC Hardware Store B. Four Socks C. Juan de la Cruz D. Project Pathway E. Cement Your timer starts now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I am your TLE teacher, Sir Lance.